Hey everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here with Automate with Jonathan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, completely write a price tracker using uh, Python and Selenium. So uh, to start with, I'm going to show you the the product that we'll be we'll be scraping its price from. This is just a basic example product I put on my website. So a little camera, and there's the price. And we're going to be using Selenium uh, to pull this number out there and store it into a CSV file. And then we're going to run this script basically on repeat and populate this CSV file. So let's, let's get right into it. So where do we start? We have our basic Chrome driver set up here, which is the, uh, we're loading the driver, we're creating the driver we're initializing, or initializing the browser and the page we're going to get is right here. We select this page which is the same URL as up here. From there uh, we let the page load. We usually put a little uh, sleep in there which is uh, required, you know, to do that you have to put import the time uh, library and then what we do is we are going to take our driver which we initialized here and we are going to pull in a, an element that we find by the class name so driver dot find element by class name price how did we get that class name of price well we go right here, click inspect, and there you have it right here. There's the class name price. So the first uh, piece of the puzzle that we grab is the class name price. And to load it into a variable is uh, we have to create a variable called price and then make it set it equal to content.text. Right, and that'll pull in uh, what part? This right here, the thirty-four ninety-nine. All right, got it. And then we're gonna grab the post title because we want to know uh, what what is the name of the product, and that's contained here in the post title. So we just inspect that one again, and there's the post dash title, a seven s three same as before what I, I named the variable p name for product name equal to content dot text and and don't forget that the content uh you know is corresponds to this variable we're just reusing it and then the third part of this the price tracker is the timestamp because we're going to want to know when this was changed Right, and so with those three uh, pieces of the puzzle, uh, this moment is just a timestamp of this, you know, date and time. We're going to create an array with three pieces: the price, the product name, and what we've set this time to be. And this is all part of your uh, initialized browser function. And we're just going to return this array, these three items. So we created a new uh, item here called list data, and we set it to initialize browser, which, which returns this variable. From there, uh, or, or after that's executed rather, we create a CSV file. So this CSV file with our writer object uh, we are going to be continuously appending our CSV file, okay? And where we pass in the list data is right here, writer object dot write row list data. So every time this runs, it's going to just append another row to our file that we've opened here called CSV file. Then we quit our driver, and then we do a 15 second sleep. That 15 second sleep uh, 
is because we are running this in an infinite loop. So while this equals true, which it's just true, it's never going to be false, uh, we run this script and then wait 15 seconds. Okay, so CSV file here. You can see I'm just going to clear these out. And let's run our script. It's running, this is just the current time starting the driver, which is right here. What we should see here is, yeah, there you go. We've loaded uh, one, one set, so now it's rerunning again. Let's see if this... Uh, Fresh up, there you go, it's changed. You know what, we could, uh, so if that price ever changes, then this is gonna, then this is gonna change here. So, so this, while this is running on an infinite loop, let's uh, see, and this can be another in just a second. Yep, there we go, now we should have a third one, there you go. Yeah, so there you have it, guys. That's how you, that's the absolute most basic way to create a Python tracker. Let, let me go through it again. We have our imports here. We're running all of it in an infinite while loop. And then we're pulling these three text items that we've found by class name. So I'm gonna put all of this code uh, in, a, in a link in the description and if you check out that link, make sure you hit the like button before you before you hit the link, and you'll be able to make your own price tracker that that will tell you know tell you if the price ever changes. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.